My name's Bino, um, I'm the co-founder of RT Projects. I'd like probably for Frank, who's our mascot, to sum it up in one or two words, because he's far more eloquent than me, clearly. Um, and a bit of history of Frank. Um, we found Frank in a, in a car park, sleeping rough, um, with shopping trolleys. He's wet, horrible, and uh, a mattress. And we adopted him as our little mascot. And he seems to symbolise everything that RT is all about, really. He has good days, but he also has bad days. And he basically looks after everybody, which is what we do at RT. Well, uh, the background was that I once fell off my horse and found myself uh, living in a sleeping bag, wondering of how to end my own life. And that lasted a long time. And I got, off me, I got back on my horse over a long period of time. And the first thing I did when I dragged myself out of my sleeping bag for the first time was stretch the canvas. And it took me 10 minutes, and I don't know why, but I wrote down how long it took, what I did, and what the date was. And when I, got, when I went to bed that night, I got up the next day, if I did, then all I can remember is that thought going through my head, and the knowledge that I knew I had to do more than 10 minutes the next day. So I did 12 minutes the next day, and I wrote it down. Over a long period of time, I ended up doing an eight-hour stint. And I thought that art had saved my life, and I think in a way it did, tongue-in-cheek. Um, so I always had this idea that maybe other, other people could benefit from this. But I went off and got a proper job and lived my normal life and met all normal people and did normal things for a long, long time. Till in the end, I ended up as a teacher, working in outreach, uh, adult education. And I realised back, hang on, there's some people here who are getting more out of this than just how to, how to read and write, how to use a camera, whatever I was teaching. So I thought, what a wonderful thing, we could set this up. I applied for a little grant. Um, my colleague, Emma, was also teaching. She was primary school, so she had every reason to have depression, anxiety, and everything else that goes with that. And we joined together and got a project off the ground through an initial funding. It was so powerful, the changes that we saw in people, that we thought there must be something to do with this. Eventually, we won a contract with Public Health to deliver their Arts for Wellbeing programme. What's the technical stuff? OK, we use art, but that's just a little bit of a a gimmick to get people in, which means what we really do is get people to re-socialise and re-believe in themselves and do things that they can do well and be proud of. So we're working on this level and camaraderie. We have a little box, an imaginary one at the doorway, where you put all the crap, can I say that? I have. All the stuff that is your life in the box and then you come in. You can pick it up again on the way out, but you leave it when you come in here. So it's that sort of environment, that's the idea. And I think you agree, it's a lovely little environment. We have beds in the trees. We even have trees anyway. So, oh, free parking, that's big. <laughs> <laughs>